Hey YouTubers, I wanted to kind of go over one of the potential or suggested upgrades during this heavy duty Turbo 3, or sorry, Turbo 400 rebuild. Um, if you go to the Crankshaft Coalition website uh, and look up there, like you can just Google uh, Turbo 400 rebuild recipe or something of that nature and uh, go to the Crankshaft Coalition website and it kind of takes you through some of the recommended upgrades to uh, do to the Turbo 400 during a rebuild to handle more power. One of the, um, I'm going to call it a proposed upgrades because I, at first I was fully on board with doing it but now I'm kind of questioning whether it's worth the hassle Basically, it's called rollerizing your rear thrust in the Turbo 400 build. So normally, the very first thing that you put in a case when you start to rebuild the transmission internally is called the three-tang thrust washer. Okay, so this is basically a thick hardened steel thrust washer that's held in the case and keeps it from turning basically by these three tabs okay the thing that interfaces with this in other words the thing that touches this after assembly is called your four tang thrust washer and this actually locates itself right on the bottom of your reaction carrier and sits like this on top of there during operation okay so that would be your mating or friction wear surface on the rear thrust of the Turbo 400. Well, if you read that rollerizing your Turbo 400 rear thrust, they tell you to order one of these. This is a Turbo 350 pump Torrington bearing. So this is a roller bearing okay so what they're saying is, is you can eliminate your three tang thrust washer your four tang thrust washer and replace it with one of these on that rear thrust application okay here's where i get a, i have some questions because basically what they're saying is is in the case in the back okay we're not talking about the tail shaft extension none of that the main case rear bushing let me see if i can give you guys a little bit of a picture okay guys real quick i'm going to try to hold the flash flashlight do the recording and do some pointing basically this is the rear part of your turbo 400 case if you look you'll see the three locators for that three tang thrust washer one two three now this bushing right here, that rear case bushing, you're supposed to install a fresh bushing and allow it to protrude or stick inside the housing or case. I believe they say 55 thousandths of an inch to um, act as a locator for the new Torrington roller bearing. The problem I'm having is, um, and I'll show you the numbers here in just a second, there is a, a good solid 15 thousandths discrepancy between the thickness of the uh, Torrington or roller bearing and the a combined thickness of your two thrust washers that you have to account for to properly set your in play. So let's move back over to the actual thrust washers and roller bearing so I can kind of give you a little more information. Okay, guys, back over here where I can show you the numbers. So basically, in order for you to use this roller bearing, you have to install the rear case bushing and have it sticking up or to inside out of the case far enough to properly locate this bearing to keep it from sliding around inside the back of the case. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. A little bit different than the factory setup with it having the three tang to the case, four tang to the bottom of the reaction carrier, but 
apparently this is a known upgrade and it's called rollerizing your turbo 400 rear thrust here's where the problem lies when you install the roller bearing you have to use turbo 350 uh, pump I think they call it pump thrust washers or shims or something to that effect to make sure that you account for at the very least the thickness of your factory setup you may have to shim it just a hair more because you don't know if that factory setup still had the proper end clearance or not until you check it but follow the process and we'll get there in the end when you add together the thicknesses of both of these thrust washers that's 155 thousandths thick this roller bearing is it's you could argue it's 139 thousandths to 139 and a half thousandths so either way i'm looking at a solid 15 thousandths worth of shims to even match the factory setup so then i start asking like okay is this really worth the hassle you know is the gain enough to you know warrant the hassle of setting this up in the case during the rebuild i don't know i don't know i'll, I'll post that po I'll question to you guys do you guys think the potential benefits to rollerizing the the rear thrust on the turbo 400 build is worth that process you know um the ca the rear bushing in this transmission probably is fine but i would definitely need to replace it if I was gonna do this upgrade. So I'm thinking, okay, that's no problem. I'll just have to get the rebuild kit with the uh, bushings and uh, try to get that thing swapped out. The problem is, for some reason, they don't really make a wider than stock width rear th uh, case bushing. Like if they made one that was like, I don't know, hundred thousandths wider than the factory version where you could just seat it in from the back and have you know a reveal of say a hundred thousandths so that you know you could properly locate this uh, roller bearing and the shims that would be required because I would assume and maybe I'm wrong that the shims would go under this roller bearing and move the you know you would space it by shimming behind this between the Torrington bearing and the case and not putting shims up here that doesn't sound like a good combo I don't know because if you shim above it you're definitely not going to be locating that to anything because it's not going to locate to the reaction carrier because it has no tabs like this has four tabs that literally I don't want to say click in, but they like go into holes on the reaction carrier and keep this thing from spinning. You can't just throw a shim on top of this thing and just have it freewheeling around on the back of that reaction carrier. That doesn't sound like a good opportunity for us. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of go over that rollerizing the Turbo 400 case, just in case some of, someone else was going through this process and was considering making that upgrade. Um, you guys help me out. Answer the question. Is it worth the hassle to go roller on that rear thrust? Or should I just go back with the factory original setup and let her eat? So anyway, here's a quick video with a question and a little bit of an update on my process. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.